So if you haven't heard of what my anime list is, it's a place where people come to make a list for all the animes they are currently watching, they have watched, or plan to watch. You can give a rating to the anime you have watched and leave reviews on said anime. It is also a place where you can find all the animes that will be coming out during a specific season. But there is one specific place in this website that has caught people's attention, and that is the top anime section. It is where you can find the most popular and highly rated anime series out there. For a while now, Full Metal Alchemist had held the number one spot. I'm talking about Brotherhood and not the 2003 Full Metal Alchemist. It held that number one spot for a good reason. In the anime community, as a collective agree that Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is an amazing anime, but recently had just been dethroned. One of the best, if not the best anime of all time had been taken over by... Oshinoko? Huh? Well, in today's video, we'll be talking about the newly released anime Oshinoko and see whether it deserves that number one spot or not. The basic premise of the story is about this girl Ai Hoshino who is a 16 year old famous idol living in Tokyo. She has this devoted fan base who loves how pure and cute she comes off. Then we are introduced to one of her biggest fans, Goro, who is a countryside doctor that had became a fan of hers after one of his patients that he had grown fond of had also been a massive fan of Ai and is trying to live as a fan for the patient after she had passed away. Now you're wondering, how does a doctor who lives in the countryside be connected to with a famous girl idol who is in Tokyo? Well, she comes to him as a patient because she's pregnant and doesn't want anyone to know about it since she is 16 and very famous, which shocks him. But nonetheless, he is still a massive fan of hers and is committed as a doctor to help her with the delivery. They bond and spend loads of time together talking about their own lives until the time came for her delivery. Just before her delivery had been due, he had left the hospital for the night and promised to come back the next day to be in time for her delivery. But on his way home, he had encountered a very sussy looking man. A sussy man who happens to be a stalker of Ai Hoshino. So, like the devoted fan Goro is, he runs after the stalker and tries to catch said stalker, but the stalker got the upper hand and knocked him off a cliff. And if you're wondering where the fuck is a cliff near a hospital, they're in the countryside, they're surrounded by trees. There's a cliff there. Sadly, Goro passes away, hitting his head on a rock and bleeding out. But that's not where his story actually ends. I ended up giving birth to twins, a boy and a girl, and lucky for Goro, he ended up reincarnating as Ai's newborn boy, Aqua. And the girl Ruby had also been reincarnated from the girl who was the patient of Goro that he was so close with and was a massive fan of Ai, which was great for both of them since they were both fans of her. But they both ended up still having their memories from their previous lives and are living a whole new life as Ai Hoshino as their mother. Trust me, I didn't do the synopsis justice just because there's so much to uncover in the first episode and it's definitely something you need to watch and truly grasp what the story is like even though the first episode may or may not be an hour and 20 minutes long. I was very surprised by the runtime of the first episode, but there is a good reason to why it's so long and why it is so needed. I honestly thought it was a very good episode to a series, and the fact that it is a long episode makes sense. There's a lot to uncover during this time of what happens from when Ai Hoshino is pregnant to when Aqua and Ruby, Ai's children, are three years old, since whatever happens in the episode is a setup for the rest of the series. And it makes sense. There isn't one thing removed from this episode that wouldn't be needed later on. It is also a way to make you feel connected towards certain characters and feel for them. In Goro's case, you can feel the goodness in him and how caring he can be. And when I saw that he had died, I was actually quite sad that he had died because at that point, I had, he hadn't been on screen for so long, but for whatever parts that he was, in, I felt something for his character, which the anime does a really good job on getting you to feel for these characters, just judging off from the first episode. I didn't speak about the entire episode because it would be falling into spoiler territory, and I feel that whatever happened in that episode should be watched and not heard from me. I thought the premises of the story was quite interesting because it tends to trick you to think how the story may go, because for me, it went totally into a different direction that I thought it would and the direction that it seems to be going in is actually quite interesting and makes me want to tune in every week for it. All the characters are great in their own way. Like you can tell that they're their own characters and don't need to be carried by others. They are used quite efficiently and are around for what they should be. There are a couple of shots from the episode that completely blew me away of how good it looks and genuinely surprised me. Also, the anime is quite faithful for the manga and I do think that the anime will be on a lot of people's radar just because the manga was very well received. As a whole, I think the story is good and made quite a foundation for itself. There are some parts that people might find weird, but it is definitely a anime I would recommend watching. In terms of it being on the number one spot on my anime list, it 
probably won't hold that position for very long just because if you look at the amount of people who rated the anime is just about 85,000 and the amount of people who rated Full Metal Alchemist is close to 2 million. So do I think it's gonna be number one? Not really, but it is still an anime I would definitely tell people to watch. I will make an additional video to his anime once the season is over and give my thoughts about it when that time comes. But until then, please leave a like and subscribe.